welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be telling you guys my biggest tips and advice for incoming freshmen this is basically just pertaining to the university of south carolina but i'm sure you can take some of these tips and apply them to your university i'm just going based off of like my freshman year and what i wish i would have known going into my freshman year so keep that in mind going forward but if you guys like these types of videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know to make more types of college related videos. And also subscribe to my channel because I am posting every single day this month. And it would be awesome to have you guys stick around because I was looking at my analytics and like a decent chunk of you are not even subscribed to my channel. So definitely subscribe and stick around because I'm posting college sorority related content all the time. So get on to the tips and advice that I have for you incoming freshmen. The first one that I have written down is to get a phone card holder for your student ID and like your diff like various cards, whether it be like your debit card, your insurance card, and then of course like your student ID. You should always have that handy on you just because you never know when you're going to need it, especially your student ID. You need that for like literally everything, especially for like your meals and to like get into class buildings, you need your student ID. So I would definitely recommend getting either a card holder for your phone or one for like your keys or like your backpack or something. Just get some type of like card holder. But personally, I would get one for your phone because you know you're always going to have your phone on you. And it's just like simple. Like I'll show you mine. See, it's from Amazon. I think it was like seven bucks. Next, this is a big one. If you're living in a dorm that has like an actual like key that you have to turn to get into your dorm room. So tie your dorm key around your wrist with a hair tie so you don't lose your dorm key and you don't have to carry around like 12 other keys with it. It's just on your wrist and it's super easy, especially if you're going out. That was what I did my freshman year. Whenever like we would go out to dinner or whatever, I would just always have it on my wrist. My next tip is to get a planner so that you can put all of your syllabus dates in it, all of your class assignments so you can keep yourself accountable. Cause I know that like I always forget stuff like I'll remember it for a short amount of time and then I just forget. So I wrote down all of my assignments in my planner so I could help hold myself accountable and so I would never miss a due date. And then going off of that, put all of your class assignments and your syllabus dates in your planner with a pencil. Because class assignments are always tentative to change due to like weather, personal reasons, the professors like changing it, just like various reasons, assignments will always change. So put in with a pencil so that your planner stays neat and it doesn't get confusing. Big tip. The next tip that I have is to join group meets for all of your classes. So usually one person will like take the initiative and will send out an email with like a link to like a group meet. So definitely join in on the group meets because I know students will like hold, all hold each other accountable for like an assignment. And if you have, ever have a question, usually someone in the class will know the answer. So that's why I join them. Or like if you have a question on like a homework assignment, everyone in the group meet is like really helpful. So I would just recommend joining all the group meets. And if no one has sent one for your class yet, take the initiative and create one and send it to everyone on like your class email list because it's really helpful. The next tip that I have is to download Corsicle for registering for classes. So basically, Corsicle is an app that tells you when a class is available or not. You'll just like put in your university and your class, what class it is and like the class number and like the class section. And then it'll tell you whether it's available or not. It's really good to have when registering because at the University of South Carolina, registration is just a nightmare. You will find that out the hard way. Going off of registering for classes, my next tip would be to use Rate My Professor when picking classes. Rate My Professor was so controversial when I first went to college, I was like, I don't know whether to trust it or not. I found out by actually trusting it that it is the most useful tool with college. Because people on there will tell you if the professor's hard or not, if you have to attend a class or not, what to expect, like with the assignments, if it's a harsh grader or not stuff like that so definitely look up each professor on rate my professor and if they have like above a three in the rating you're good to go and it also tells you like the level of difficulty out of one to five so if it's like between one to three you would take the class if it's like three and above probably wouldn't take it 
Also, another tip that I have, that Blackboard and Quizlet will be your best friends. So Blackboard obviously is gonna be your best friend because that's where all your assignments are. So you're gonna have to get familiar with Blackboard and use that because that's where you're turning in all your assignments, like where all your lecture notes will be posted and stuff like that. So definitely get familiar with Blackboard. But also Quizlet is a great study tool. They have like pre-made Quizlets for like most classes. So if you just look up your class, like a question on a study guide or something, like usually it'll come up. So then you could use like pre-made study guides or you can make your own study guides or flashcards, stuff like that. So definitely use Quizlet because it is such a great study tool. The next, it's like a tip and also like piece of advice is just to get involved in clubs and organizations. That can be either Greek life, a major specific club or organization or just like a personal interest that you have. At USC, there's like, I think over 400 different clubs and organizations that you can join. So definitely look into that before coming to USC because there are so many that you can join. So definitely look into that. The next piece of advice I have is to bring an emergency kit, which is like cold and flu medicine, band-aids and allergy meds because you never know what's going to happen. And my last and final tip is to bring shoes that you don't care about, especially within the frat lots and the bars because they're both disgusting. So just bring shoes that are cheap and you don't care about getting ruined for bars and frat lots specifically, but also just like day-to-day -day life. Just bring cheap clothes because it's college. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more because I'm posting every single day. Yeah, bye guys. <laughs>